astrology and other divinatory arts are not a replacement or substitute for physical or psychiatric health care. If this is an emergency situation or you are in crisis, please do not defer your wellness to readings or horoscopes. Seek situation-appropriate, qualified assistance instead. Blessings and welcome everyone. Nico here and it's time for another all Signs General Weekly Spread for the week starting July 17th, 2022. And just a quick heads up, if you have not seen them yet, I actually put up all 12 of the individual sign forecasts for everyone just for this week. Normally they are only viewable to people who are YouTube member supporters or Patreon supporters, but I figured I, I was getting a lot of guidance to put it out universally, so I did. And so that way you can see, well, how do they roll? How does that work out? And if you are interested in those things uh, on the regular, of course, you can sign up for either Patreon or for uh, YouTube membership support uh, options, and you can find that all in the down bar below. Don't forget, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below as well. And if you would like, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, engagement helps this channel out a lot. So what is going on when it comes to our week? This week, the big spiritual theme for everybody, right? This is all in addition to what we talk about in the 12 by sign forecasts. Everyone is getting the high priestess upright. This is a week where there is a lot of positive interference that is going to be coming forward for everyone. And it's really important to know the difference between positive interference and negative interference. Because of the high priesthoods, there is a focus on guidance, helpful third parties, spiritual third parties, as well as social third parties, coming in to make some serious assist moves on our behalf. With the high priestess upright, it's important to pay attention to where this is working for us, even though it may be taking us off a well-worn path or taking us off a beaten path as it may relate to maybe our uh, career or work aspirations, the way we go about handling our spiritual path or an academic path, maybe relationships. It does not matter because the high priestess is a teacher, but it's also a tutor and a guide and a mentor and a guardian all at once, all wrapped up in one. And we're going to be having these experiences in all areas of our life simultaneously. With the High Priestess, there can be some challenges to what we consider to be status quo, comfort zones, our norms, as well as to our shields and our defenses, because there may also be some corrections going on in the way we conduct ourselves, business strategies and social strategies, and so on. However, with the High Priestess, it's all about setting us up for a perfection and correction at the same time. So. Always keep an open mind, especially when it comes to the High Priestess. Be discerning, be smart, I'm not saying be naive, but of course make sure that you don't stick or cling to any well-worn path or uh, path most followed during this week. Because again, a lot of shortcuts, a lot of level ups are coming from being able to follow guidance in a new direction. When it comes to your material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs as it relates to our home and family life. We have the Two of Cups upright, and this is a week where all matters of teamwork, collaboration, partnership, alliances are getting a huge boost, especially when it comes to not only prestige and earning power, but the opportunity to also attract or solidify, codify strong working partnerships and collaborations that will yield everybody much. In fact, for a lot of you who are in existing alliances or business partnerships, you may be noticing that there is good fortune coming on both sides of the team, which is turning this alliance or this group or this crew, maybe more than one person in the crew, uh, into something that is greater than the sum of its parts. Now, this could be because of a big break or a powerful lead or something transforming in the working environment that you are in or the market that you're in to become a lot more 
well, profitable. And for those of you that are maybe looking for something new to do, or you're interested in collaborations, or even if you're not looking for collaborations right now, pay attention to where who wants to team up, who wants to pal up, because not only is there maybe a big break hidden in that opportunity, but this could also be a powerful lead to a higher road professionally and financially. When it comes to community, friends, relatives, other people in our lives, we do have the Three of Wands upright, and it does look like uh, pay dirt is getting hit when it comes to some kind of major goal or aspiration that has been put out there, right? We put it out there in order to manifest, or we hit the pavement, or we've been looking around, or people have been hitting the pavement for us, so to speak. Uh, and now the pay dirt has been hit, there has been a find. With the Three of Wands upright, there is an acceleration to a very important plan or some kind of quest or agenda that we have each all been on, of course, again, in our respective journeys, that is coming through, once again, a collaboration or a team effort. And so this may also be something that is gifted to us by somebody in our environment, or an opening is found or precipitated by a friend or by a relative, somebody who is looking out. So that theme of helpful third parties, helpful involvements is going to really need to be allowed to sink in. If we are overly walled up, if we are overly introverted, if we have been doing our whole life in isolation, we're going to be missing out on a lot of good this week. Of course, remember, be discerning. Don't take on all kinds of new goodies. Don't just say yes to everything and then sort it out later. Don't just run with things, but pay attention to where a lot of good fortune is starting to precipitate because of the hands on deck. When it comes to the challenge of the week, we have the Ten of Pentacles upright. When it comes to the Ten of Pentacles as a challenge, it's really all about paying attention to how we, well, handle a week without a lot of pervasive challenges, right? How do we fortify the good? And that can be a challenge, especially in situations where we might be used to kind of living our lives according to navigating the challenges themselves. How do you make a good thing last? One of the things you might have heard me say in the past is that anyone can manifest anything. That's not really the challenge. The challenge is being able to manifest something and keep it and nurture it to see its full potential. And so with the Ten of Pentacles, there can be a need to focus on longevity. There can be a need to focus on planting good roots, nurturing good soil, and amending soil where maybe certain projects, certain pursuits, or certain relationships or friendships have just been struggling for whatever reason especially when it comes to things that are brand new or let's just say more recent. The Ten of Pentacles is about bringing in structure. It's about bringing in stability. It's about bringing in continuity in a way that ensures health, wealth, but also at the same time, uh, maturity for all of our goings on. And so it's not really a huge challenge in terms of, you know, say a monster of the week or any kind of drama, but it's really about learning a new way to hold on to longevity. When it comes to relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, we do have the Knight of Swords reversed. And this week, there could be some struggles interpersonally when it comes to issues of intellectual disparity. Uh, when we talk about intellectual disparity, this is about its intellectual intimacy, intellectual connections. And where is it that maybe some fumbles or some struggles have actually been having a greater strain on relationships than we might have thought? Because the Knight of Swords reversed always brings up challenge through confusion or drama through confusion or incoherence. Yes, sometimes bickering, fighting, conflicts can come with this because when people don't know what's going on or people are not getting on the same intellectual understanding or intellectual level with each other, conflicts are almost an inevitability, especially if energy stays high, things are moving too fast, or things are getting misunderstood, and just being allowed to fester or grow or stay in that place of misunderstanding. And so the way to fix this or the way to remediate this is going to be getting on the same intellectual page 
with partners or even new relationship situations where maybe we might be thinking we know what another person thinks, or we may not be speaking the same language, or we may be taking something for granted in the way uh, old connections or old rapports were formed before, but they're not sustaining themselves now. And fixing this is going to really help when it comes to staving off or clearing any kind of conflict, misunderstanding, tension, or even a bit of resentment that may have come up due to a lack of intellectual connection or a lack of intellectual rapport. Once we get that taken care of, there really isn't anything more to speak of when it comes to the Knight of Swords reversed this week. That's the message that's coming through. So that's what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the weeklies by sign, and they're under the same playlist as this video, the weekly general forecast playlist, because again, normally those are uh, private, but they're for everyone this week. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.